could be fun. <laughs> back to the channel in today's video i have another gta 5 online tutorial so in today's video guys i'm going to show you how to spawn in the sand king xl and how we can make the most amount of money by doing this glitch so the first thing that we want to do is head to our online go to gta 5 online play jobs rockstar create and what we want to do is go down to mission section and we want to launch the mission called chopper tail once we've launched the mission guys all we want to do is confirm all the settings and invite one friend if you want you can do this solo but I chose to invite one of my friends as he did want to spawn in the um, Sand King XL. So for this guy, glitch guys what I recommend doing is either finding a Sand King on the street or buying one. Um, if you do buy one don't worry we will make the money back from it. I believe it does cost uh, $45,000 on the South Andreas Motorsports website but we're going to make that money back very easily. For me I just got a street random uh, a sand king randomly off the street they're pretty easy to find in trevor's area so once you eventually do find a sand king as you can see in the gameplay in the background i spawned in my garage with my sand kings and um, basically what we're looking to do now is what you want to do is get in any sand king or you can use any other car but i recommend using a sand king as it does increase the spawn rates so what you want to do is just get in your sand king and head outside your garage Alright guys, so once we eventually do get out of our garage, what we want to do is hit the options button and pull up our map. What we want to do is ignore the objective of this mission and we want to head to this area right here down by Travis Airfield and the prison. I'm going to skip to the gameplay now where we just go drive there. I'm going to speed up the gameplay as well so we don't have to watch that. But once we get there, I'll tell you the next step. Alright guys, so once we arrive at the location, what we want to do is reduce our speed until we get to the same speed as the other kind of um, NPCs that are in game. As you can see, I was driving too fast, so I didn't get to spawn first try. But what we want to do, as you can see on the left where this black jeep spawned, that is where the Sand King will spawn if we drive a little bit slower. So if it doesn't spawn straight away, what we want to do is drive up this little dirt road. Um, you can speed up this dirt road, it doesn't matter what the, sp the speed that you're driving away. Um, but it does matter the speed you're driving towards the objective so what we want to do is go up this little dirt road once we get to the car kind of like this little metal fence at the top of the dirt road all we want to do is turn around and try drive as slow as possible when I say drive as slow as possible I don't mean like literally driving really really slow just drive like a normal speed not speeding and just basically just hold down lightly hold down your trigger button if you're on console now once you get to this dirt road as i said drive slow as you can and as you can see across the street right now we got the yellow sand king to sport now i do believe the yellow one sells for around 17,000, and the blue one sells for around 
M19000 if I'm correct. But once you eventually do get one to spawn in, all you want to do is to get in it and drive all the way back to your apartment guys. In the mission you cannot access Los Santos so you cannot just go and sell it straight away. But what you want to do is go ahead and put it in your garage and what you can do guys is stockpile these cars and sell them all at once or once every 45 minutes if you have the kind of like car ban selling limit so once you've done that guys as you can see in the gameplay I'm just going to show you how easy they are to spawn guys so as you can see right now I'm driving back up the dirt road and once we get to the metal fence that's at the top all we want to do is repeat our step that we done before turn around and drive back at slower speed as I said before, it doesn't have to be really slow, just a decent amount so you're not speeding, guys. As you can see in the gameplay right now, I'm turning around and I'm ready to drive back down the dirt road. At this point, I remember that I parked my car next to the spawn location, but it didn't really affect it. I think as long as my car wasn't blocking the spawn, it was fine. So as you can see in the distance, my blue car is still there. But once I pull up a little bit closer, as you can see right now, another yellow Sand King has spawned in, guys. And as you can see now, there's three Sand Kings, and they spawn 100% of the time if you have a Sand King with you. As you can see right now, that's three Sand Kings, and right there, guys, is a lot of money. So 17,000 for both of them, and all you want to do now is just drive back to your garage and stockpile them, guys. So right now in the gameplay, guys, I'm going to show you another location that you can go to to spawn in the Sand Kings. Alright guys, so in the gameplay in the background, as you can see, I got back into my blue Sand King. So right now we're driving to the next location, hopefully your driving skills are a little bit better than mine. But in the gameplay in the background, I'm about to show you the location that we're heading to. So right now, what we're going to do is head to this kind of like junction bit that is kind of near the military base. I know it's a little bit fast there, me showing you on the map, but I will show you in the gameplay in the background, me driving to it there. Of course, guys, I'm going to speed up the gameplay so you don't have to watch me driving there that slow. But once we get there, guys, I'll tell you the next step. Alright guys, so once we arrive at this kind of like gas station area, we're kind of in the right spot. So as you can see, the road to my right, as you can see I'm looking back, that is the road where the Sand King is going to spawn. On the map right now, I'm going to show you the location of where we are at currently. So as you can see, this little road where that black jeep was coming back from, that is the area where the Sand King will spawn. Um, this area I found to spawn, the blue Sand King spawns here a lot often, sorry, more often than the yellow one. But as you can see right now, what we want to do is drive a little bit far away. I recommend up into this dirt kind of like bit on the side of the road. Turn around and drive back as slow as possible again, guys. So once we're doing this, what we're doing, once we're driving slow, basically, guys, it allows the 
the car a chance to spawn so as you can see in the gameplay right now once we get a little bit close i got another yellow one to spawn guys and as you can see it's literally as easy as that as i said before guys all you need to do is go back to your apartment and store the cars and it's as easy as that guys so on the gameplay right now i'm just going to keep on doing this while i talk over it and then the next run that i do i do get a blue one to spawn guys at the end of the video i will show you how much they cost to sell and as you can probably tell they already do have a lot of customizations so maybe I would recommend keeping one or two of them for yourself guys and this is a hundred percent legit easy solo money method guys it's one of the easiest ones out there you're not going to be making millions but you will be making thousands guys as you can see selling 17,000 pounds cars or dollar cars one by one is going to take a little bit long but it's one of the most legitest ways of making money guys as you can see get there guys i got another yellow one to spawn they spawn almost 100 of the time guys so if you enjoyed this video guys make sure you drop a like and subscribe as i said in my previous video guys we're almost at 200 subscribers so make sure you drop a like and subscribe guys it really means a lot also comment guys and tell me how i can improve on my channel i know i've said a lot guys but i'm just gonna let the gameplay roll now and show you at the end of the video how much the cars are worth Thank you.